Go Colourful is the theme, and with the women joining the men at next year's Sydney Sevens, there'll be plenty to see over three big days of action. So we're playing on the Friday and Saturday. Friday here is just the women's game, so we're hoping so many people come out and support um, us first on the Friday. Hopefully we get things kick-started in our round games, and then we go into the quarter semis and finals on the Saturday where the men's begin. Sydney will be the second stop on the World Series tour for the Australia women's sevens side, and going into the 2016-17 season as both World Series and Olympic champions, the Hunters become the Hunted. That's going to be a big one for us. Uh, winning the World Series was a huge thing for us. It's Reward's most consistent team over the whole year, and that's something what we, um, our team want to be known as is we're consistent and we're go always going to be um, up for the fight. So it's definitely something we're going to be looking forward to this year, um, starting in Dubai in December. After going down to New Zealand in the inaugural Sydney Sevens last year, Australia men's sevens captain Ed Jenkins is chomping at the bit to go one better this time around. It's amazing, obviously last year was um, a great event, uh, everyone got behind and supported it so um, I think uh, the ARU and World Rugby made a great decision to, to host it here in Sydney in our own backyard so um, I think once again with the women uh, performing as well, there's no reason why we can't get uh, three days of a sellout. The Sevens World Series will kick off in just under two months in Dubai and competition for spots in the squad is starting to heat up. The new guys come in have a lot of, uh, lot of energy and uh, trying to prove something so it's um, a good team environment down there at the moment and it's always uh, very competitive amongst, uh, amongst the men down there so um, training's been great and uh, looking to build into the uh, World Series nicely. After the success of Rugby Sevens on the Olympic program, the sport's popularity is at an all-time high. And if former Women's Sevens World Player of the Year, Emily Cherry, has anything to do with it, this is only the beginning. We've just been building the profile so much, so this is only going to help that um, in a, within Australia. And it's such a great thing for women's sport to be shown alongside the men's, to get out here to Allianz, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, play along the men and enjoy the atmosphere Sydney Sevens has is going to be absolutely awesome.